there. Um, yeah, t today's Anything Friday. It's been a week since I uploaded anything because I had a really, really busy week. It was President's Day. I went to the Reagan Library, met up with family, and I had a whole bunch of homework stuff to do, and I have to, like, reclaim my financial aid and stuff, and it's really horrible, so it's really busy. So, yeah, today's Anything Friday. I will be doing that video I was supposed to be doing on Wednesday of the blending stuff and, uh, shading. Oof. All right, so... Today is officially the first Anything Friday, so let's get started. Hi there everybody, uh, we're going to be learning how to blend colors and shade today as a request on one of my comments. So we'll go back to this picture, it's very recent of what I did. It's uh, obviously Scar from The Lion King. So if we take away the shading, that's pretty much what you have. And um, let's see, is this all in one? Yeah, it's all in one. Oh, okay, I guess that's it. So we'll just go into the very top right here and add a layer. Alrighty, so we'll choose Scar's skin color, which is about this, a little darker, and here, we'll go up to here, start coloring, you're coloring. Okay, on his nose, um, it fades from black to his regular fur color. I'll show you how to blend, blend colors. It helps uh, massively if you have a tablet. I mean, I don't really, I don't really see how I could have done this without it. So you color in this black. Well, not you, because I don't think anybody drew scar. Okay, for this video, I mean. Um, okay, so what you do is you get your brush to the size that you want it. You put the hardness down to zero. And you you have to have this thing on right here. With it off, it just makes straight lines and there's no pressure to it. This, it makes it so there is pressure. So you can go from light to dark. So what you're going to do is you slightly go all over it to blend that color. But if you're wondering about to make different colors, here I'll show you with the eye. I do with the eye. Um, for me, I make it the darkest possible. Well, yeah, the regular uh, tone of the eye, color, whatever. And then you go over and you continuously make it lighter. So it'd be the darkest up here. This is where the shading would be. And then you make it lighter down as we go. Like this. And then you do a really light one for those like really small spots. And then you eventually put this in. So if that's what you're talking about, then yes. And, um, and then it would look more full. What I, here, I'll show you what I do for shading in a second though, but I'll show you what it looks like with, uh, with shading on top. So you understand what I mean about not shading the top. I mean, you could but see how it naturally does it when you go over it. And then I eventually at the very end, when I'm adding whites to it, I take it and white over it like this so it looks much more realistic than it really would in general if you just put a plain green circle like this with black you know it looks very different and this looks much more realistic right there um right so i hope that answers questions for you it's mostly just putting the hardness down to zero to get that softness and mixture like if you're going to do skin color right here, see it's one consecutive color, then you're going to want to go and make it not that dark. Um, something like this and then just kind of ease your way into it.
you know there's that way and then you can always use this but sometimes it makes your processing really slow and it starts to lag and then you have that blue circle going in there so this way is the best and this way is uh, pretty efficient see and it kind of lags even for my really high processing computer because I have an Alienware see oh blue circle and then if you really go crazy like this blue circle oh my god I mean, it, it has certain cool effects though, but I would mostly go for this, where you go right here and ease into it. You know what I'm talking about? So there's that. Uh, we'll get his color back on. There, shading. Uh, the green part, uh, if you're really curious about that, is nothing special. It's just, um, taking that color and going around the edges where the lights would be. Um, and if you want to ask me about backgrounds too, I can do that as well uh, in the next video. Uh, what am I doing? All right, shading. So for shading, a little, I don't know. When I was when I first started, I just used gray Went on another layer and you go to multiply and it looks like that. I mean, that's very traditional, but I, I don't really care for that. So what I do is I go here and go to like a purple gray color. The darker you go, obviously how darker the shadows is, but usually I just stick at one color and raise the opacity up and down until I like it. So it's like at this grayish purple, the hardness is to zero and this is kind of what I do. I, oops, I forgot to set that to multiply right there. So then you go and shade your certain areas like this. And then the bigger you go, kind of the softer it look it gets. And this is how I shade. And sometimes you'll go for more of a gray look and then you kind of add more upon more to get darker. And then you like erase some. Um, if you want to erase and maintain uh, that softness just go to the eraser go to zero and you know the same thing as you would regular do and also for the eraser there is also this brush right here I mean not brush but this pressure button so it just doesn't go up so you can just kind of ease it out with the pressure that's what I do and then you just keep shading and shading and shading and shading and shading until you get you know like this and then you do your background like that and Woohoo, you have a scar. Well, for me. And that is how I shade and blend color. So I hope that was very helpful. And I'm always, always going to be doing videos that are suggested in comments, either on my DeviantArt or my Tumblr, which I don't really go on because there's no one really on there. Um, or So most likely just go to my DeviantArt or my um, YouTube comment things below, down there, you know. Oh, happy kitty. You're so happy, aren't you? Look at that face, it's just so happy. <laughs> so happy, Kitty.